Hello everyone, today we will see how to connect uh, a Pi to AWS IoT. Before that we will uh, look, look on to some basics of our project. Our project is Smart Agriculture, it, that is irrigation system. Like first we will understand the architecture and hardware of the solution. Since this is a course project, we will be implementing it on a prototype basis. And uh, here are the hardware, hardware components. And this is a schematic diagram of our uh, circuit, which is uh, which is being drawn using phrasing tool. Now uh, this is the Raspberry Pi. We are using version three, and uh, we are, this is the soil sensor. Basically, it throws out the analog output, and we need to have a ADC in between here, so which takes this analog input and converts it to digital output, and feeds to the GPIO 21st pin. Since this is a schematic diagram, we won't be uh, focusing a lot on uh, actual uh, circuit diagram. So uh, we assume that we have an ADC over here. Since in phrasing tool, we don't have an ADC component. We can take two wires from, uh, we can connect this particular wire to VCC and this second uh, slot to ground. And this is the output of this particular sensor uh, via ADC, which is connected to GPIO 21st pin. Now, uh, this particular moisture sensor will sense the logic 1 if the soil is dry. And if the soil is wet, it senses logic 0, that is voltage 0 or 0 in uh, programming uh, perspective. Now, coming to components which we are using for this project. The main uh, controller, that is the microcontroller we are using is Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins. Now coming to the sensor, this is the mo soil moisture sensor I was talking about. This is the uh, main sensor. These are the probes which have to be dipped into the soil to measure the soil moisture. Then this is the ADC which can be fine tuned using this particular uh, notch over here. And uh, where this particular uh, ADC converts the analog output of this particular sensor to digital output thrown out through this pin. This has, uh, this has uh, four pins. One is VCC ground and two are the outputs. And we have another version of this which has three pins. One is VCC ground and another one is digital output. Now coming to the architecture, this is the soil moisture which senses the values and uh, we have a programming, we have a program which interfaces this soil moisture sensor to the Raspberry Pi. Then via uh, API gateway present in the Amazon AWS, and also by using Lambda, we are pushing that particular data onto the DynamoDB. And also we are uh, sending that data. We have written alarms, cloud watches, and sending the data to Amazon SNS. Then Amazon SNS in, uh, in turn uses SNS mailer uh, for mailing that particular, uh, uh, for that particular uh, mail or the notification to the farmer. Now coming to the IoT services which we are using, we are using AWS IoT, that is uh, nothing but the MQTT server for publishing and subscribing. Then we are also using uh, uh, AWS uh, API Gateway, uh, which is used for reading and writing uh, uh, cloud watching services for sensor values. AWS Lambda is a function which is similar to route and Node.js. Then we have DynamoDB for storing the sensor values. Then Amazon SNS is used to push the mail onto the farmer side whenever the soil uh, is uh, set to dry, uh, dry uh, moisture. Then uh, this is the execution of our, of our system. At the first step, the moisture content is sensed by the uh, soil moisture sensor, which are the probes by the soil moisture sensor, which is placed in the soil. Then that particular sense data is read by Pi through uh, GPIO 21st pin uh, sent via ADC. As I said earlier, the sensor value would be 1 if the soil is dry and it is 0 if the soil is wet. Then the analyzed data is published onto the MQTT server on AWS platform. Based on these values, uh, like it publishes onto a topic name called Pi to AWS. Then alarm gets activated on AWS and uh, particular cloud watches are triggered. That is a sense. We have two triggers for it. The sensor data is pushed first to the DynamoDB and also we have the second uh, trigger that is the uh, sense value sent via uh, notification to the farmer via mail. Then farmer can decide that but the, the soil is dry and one needs to water that particular uh, field. As I said earlier, like well, this is AWS IoT console. We have a, a abstract representation of that device called Pi over here. 
when we click on this uh, we get an ERN which is an identifier this uh, for this particular pi uh, then also we have like uh, you can configure groups for this like you can add different uh, device create different devices and add that onto a particular group then you can also have a MQTT server to interact like this is the MQTT this thing uh, URL which you can use then also we have uh, like uh, security certificates attached to it the security certificates are nothing but uh, I'll show you the certificates like once uh, like once you create that particular uh, everything you will be you will be given with the three particular uh, certificates which you have to download these are nothing but uh, secure key key files to access the AWS server now coming to I'll show you how to create a thing you have to click on create then create a single thing then you can give some uh, name for this one like I'll set as a test and I'll say next then you have to create a certificate to access a uh, server now coming to these are the three files which I was talking about in addition you need to download CA file like we'll be using these particular uh, files on to our uh, uh, while we are accessing the while we are accessing from the Pi now coming to the uh, Pi program like this is a pipe program first you have to install that particular AWS IoT SDK I am using Node.js for uh, communicating with the server first you have to install that particular uh, uh, package and you have to require it in your program we also need a GPIO package which is known as on off you need to install it like npm install on off and npm install AWS IoT device is taken then uh, you can create a GPIO pins abstraction over here like I'm using I said that in uh, the in this particular uh, diagram in this particular diagram uh, you can see that this uh, sensor is in uh, like interface with GPIO 21st pin so I am uh, creating a variable or instance of it an abstract uh, representation of it I'm setting it as input uh, input pin so that it can read sensor values which is sent by the uh, soil moisture sensor you have to create a uh, instance of the device this is for connecting with this particular device this is nothing but this pi thing if you want to interact with this particular device then you have to create this one like this is the key part uh, you have, we need to mention all these file paths over here so that uh, they can be accessed and verified from the server and then you can um, securely access the AWS IoT MQTT server these are the files which are stored here and uh, the, since these files and uh, the program are written in the same folder we can uh, directly import them over here this is a key file uh, like uh, this is a private key like the, which path has to be given and other certificate fi uh, file uh, then we have client ID this client ID is nothing but name of the thing over here then uh, this is a host this is a host ID like this is the host ID then uh, you can give client ID as pi over there then coming to actual our business logic then uh, you can see device dot on connect this function is executed when uh, this particular program is trying to make connection with AWS IoT and it has successfully made the connection you can uh, like we yeah and uh, this is the this function is executed when once a device gets connected to the AWS IoT then I have published like I have uh, subscribed to a particular uh, topic name called Pi to AWS like this Pi to AWS I would be uh, uh, creating this particular topic onto the topic onto the server side then uh, uh, I'll be publishing the data uh, which is read by the GPIO pin like this is the uh, function which are written to read the synchronously read the data from the pin 21st to which the particular uh, uh, like the soil sensor is connected you have to say moist fraud uh, dot read sim this moist is nothing but this moist is attached to the pin gpio pin 21st so you can say moist dot uh, read sim then once the value is read you can publish that on to this particular topic pi to aws and you can uh, this is a timestamp at which the data was read and this is the sensor value the value which has been read over here from the moist uh, like 21st pin of the gpio of the raspberry pi and we can we can uh, console the log saying uh, message message sent if the value is one uh, we can come to a conclusion that the soil is dry else it is wet
this particular function gets triggered every 600 milliseconds. Then coming on to, on to this one, if the message, like this is for checking, when the pi to AWS gets uh, published, this uh, particular function is triggered when a new message gets published onto a particular topic. You can print it as message followed by a topic name, then uh, you can also, payload is nothing but the values or the, this is a payload actually, this, uh, this whole thing is a payload which gets published uh, onto this particular topic. And this function is written, uh, written to observe the control C uh, pressed on the, uh, like pressed on the, uh, the, what is it, console. Like this particular uh, function clears the, uh, clears that particular function and also uh, like sets back that uh, GPIO pin to zero and also it unexports, like it unbinds this uh, particular uh, moist variable from the GPIO pin so that other uh, like programs trying to access the 21st pin can continue. Like once the data is published, this is the AWS ID console, then you can go to act over here. I have written two tables, like I had said you there. The topic name is pi to AWS. When you can uh, trigger this particular, uh, you can see a description. Triggers when a message set from pi reaches AWS and feeds the message value into the database. Okay, the database is nothing but this DynamoDB. This DynamoDB, I have created a, a table called pi values under which uh, you have these items. Like I had, uh, I'll see you there. Uh, this is the payload. Like I had sent here, uh, the time followed by the sensor data. You can observe the same thing here. Time, this is the sensor data. Time is the instant and the sensor value can be zero and one. One indicates that uh, at this instant of time, the sensor value was dry. That is what it indicates. And alternatively, AWS also gives this one. The time is followed by the number. This is the first trigger here. You have to select each and every attribute sent on this topic. Like you can specify if you want to select the time or else if you, if you just want to select the sensor data, you can say select sensor underscore data from uh, pi to AWS. Then once this particular uh, uh, rule or query is executed, then the action that should be performed is nothing but insert that message into dynamic, uh, DynamoDB table and the table name is pi underscore values. So this is where it is inserted. The table name is pi underscore values. And the second trigger which I was talking about that a mail has to be sent to the particular pharma, like this is a trigger. Like you can see here, like select whenever uh, this thing, the source of the message you want to process with this rule. Okay, select all from pi to AWS, where sensor data is great, uh, greater than zero. This is because like if uh, you, you, you want to send the mail only if the uh, sensor data is greater than zero, that is uh, the sensor data is equal to one. Because that sensor data is equal to one, uh, the soil would be dry. You can see the action over here, send a message as SNS push notification and the uh, publisher and uh, the publishing name here is send mail. I will go to uh, AWS SNS. This is a topic name, send mail. Send mail has subscribed to, like this you can see the subscription over here. Like you can see the subscription ARN over here. This has to match with this particular uh, this particular uh, ARN over here. Coming to subscription, whenever that part, this particular uh, query is triggered or this particular uh, trigger is triggered, this is the email ID. The protocol is email. You can also push the notifications via SMS or else some uh, simple uh, notifications on the apps, on the notification tray of a particular mobile phone. And the endpoint would be this mail ID. Since I have given here email, this should be a mail ID to which the uh, like sensor values has to be pushed. This is how it works. Like I'll show you the execution of this now. We need to go to this place. Then I'll first I'll open this one. Then I'll say node app dot js. Or else yeah, app dot js. Since I'm not connected to Raspberry Pi, I'll just be executing app dot js. It said it get it got connected. Yeah, I have commented this. This should be uncommented. I'll run it once again. See, it got connected and the message is sent. 
And you can see th this is a, this is executed because, like you can see over here, a device dot message. This is published, and on on this particular, you can see message pay, pay, uh, topic followed by this. You can see that this is this is because it got connected over here. And once this message, uh, once this message is sent, then uh, you can see the uh, console uh, message saying message sent. And this is triggered because uh, you have uh, here the like device dot on message is executed. We'll put another console statement here to check whether this function is called or not. You can see uh, message receive. We'll save this. We'll rerun it again. Now we'll check what is output. See, it got connected. Message sent. Yeah, and this is the message received. Hence, we can uh, confirmly say that device at on message is triggered whenever uh, this particular uh, message is sent. And we'll see whether this has got uh, subscribed onto the server side. We'll see here. Published onto the server side. This is the uh, data here. Uh, you can see this is the payload here. No. We'll do one thing. We'll first clear all these items. Uh, we'll go action, delete. Okay. I will rerun that particular program and check uh, if new data are. Uh, Refresh this since we have so many values for yeah only one we have values I think there are many values so published okay uh, these values and so value gets published over here it has for publish like we see the data. Those values get published actually over here, but I don't know how do they get organized. Yeah, this is, uh, those are triggered and we'll check if... Yeah, this is the notification which we have got. Like you can see the time, 9.37, one minute ago over here. This is the time, yeah, this is the sensor value which I had sent from there can see 5000 since this is this particular thing is greater than 0 5000 we have got a notification from the like amazon sns service saying this uh, this is the time and the sensor data since we have said that select everything from this one and publish it as as a mail so this is how it works this is how we get the notification from the aws when the seeing the stating the subject as uh, dry soil and we will also get the sensor data that's all guys we have for this tutorial uh, give it a like if you like the video and uh, uh, give, uh, give some comments so as to how to improvise the video and if you have any doubts or questions do drop them in the comment section below thank you and goodbye